Okay, now we're talking about bundled products, which is the type of product that you'll use for your purses. Um, I am, we're adding a new product. I went ahead and, in, and entered a name and description. Again, this is a long description, but just for the sake of demonstration, I just put a single word in there. So for the product data, you will select product bundle instead of simple product or variable product. Now this is a lot like the other product types, but uh, with a few big differences. Again, you'll enter a price. This is for the entire bundle. So in other words, for your purse. So your purses are $14.99. Um, you can enter your sale price and shipping information, all that, uh, if you want to. Uh, where it is different is on the bundled products tab. You want to add products to your bundle. So we'll add the emergency pack and we want to add some panties so we'll say the hipster panties which is the only kind that I've entered. So this is very important after you add the the products in the bundle you need to go up and click save draft. Now when you go back down to the bundled products tab you will see that there the products that you added, there are now uh, configuration details that you can change. So for the emergency pack, uh, if there's more than one in a purse, you could change that here. Front end visibility, if you if it's visible, then the customer sees the name, they will see emergency pack. Uh, even though they can't select it, they can't do anything, it just shows that it's included in this bundle. Um, you can hide the product thumbnail, which the emergency pack doesn't have a thumbnail at this point. Um, so that doesn't matter. You can also override the title if you wanted to call it something else uh, or override the short description. Um, that is the the same for the, the panties. Um, you could filter out different variations if you wanted to or f uh, hide the filtered options. You can also override the default selection, so if you wanted the size 10 panties to be default, you could do that as well. Uh, also change the quantity and all the other things that you saw with the emergency pack. So we'll leave all that as it is. Uh, the short description, oh, I guess I ought to put something in there. Um, the rest of this is just like any other product. Um, We'll set it as a featured product so it'll show up on the home page and mark it as a purse in the purse category. And then we will set the featured image. So I'm actually going to upload a different image. And I would recommend for all images not to make them any larger than a thousand pixels uh, just because when they when you click on the image on the website you see the original image and if it's gigantic then um, some people won't be able to see the whole thing it'll take up more than their screen size and also make the file size quite large so we'll just change this to single zipper um, and set that as the featured image and there it is and then we can preview this to see what it's going to look like. So here's your product bundle. Um, here's the emergency pack. There's no thumbnail, so we should go back and hide that thumbnail. Um, and then here are the panties with the options to choose the size and the color. Um, just real quick, we'll go back here and hide the product thumbnail for the emergency pack since it doesn't actually have one. Hit preview again, which will save a draft automatically. So here you see, here's the emergency pack, no thumbnail, and the panties. Um, and that is all you have to do. Of course, they can't, they have to choose all the options for the panties before they can add it to their cart. Um, but you can see that the total is, is $14.99. It doesn't doesn't add all the prices for the emergency pack and the hipster panties, it's just one price for the entire bundle.
So I'll go ahead and publish that. You can delete it or alter it if you want to, but that's how you do the product bundles, which is how you'll post your purse products.